Good afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram, and we're watching some breaking news out of Brooklyn. Police say a pedestrian and three people on mopeds were struck by a U-Haul. The driver not sticking around. The driver has been taken into custody. News for Adam Harding is live in Red Hook, Brooklyn, with the latest. Adam. And Kay, that rampage coming to an end behind us here in Red Hook. I want to step out of the way so you can get a closer look at the U-Haul van that is at the center of this massive police response here all throughout Brooklyn. Off in the distance, police right now investigating in that U-Haul. Now, I want to tell you, Kay, there are three crime scenes, and this is a situation that has been now evolving for several hours. It started in Bay Ridge, where we understand three people were struck. Then the car continued on to Sunset Park, where one person was struck. We understand that person is in very critical condition at this point. Ultimately, that U-Haul van was stopped here. You can see it perched up on the sidewalk right next to a building here in Red Hook. Video from the scene earlier shows the frantic police response. At this point, it's not clear what exactly the motive in all of this was, but Chopper 4 above the scene here, you can get a sense of the number of police agencies that have been responding. We've got streets that have been blocked off here all throughout this immediate area in Red Hook. That person of interest has been taken into custody, presumably somebody inside of that van. We can see from our vantage point, Kay, that the doors to that U-Haul van are open. I'm stepping out of the way so you can get an up-close look at what we're talking about. At this point, at least three crime scenes and at least four people struck again. One of them said to be in critical condition, a massive police response, Kay. We're going to stay out here throughout the afternoon. We'll bring any, any new updates as we get them. For now, we're live in Red Hook. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York. All right, Adam, thank you for monitoring that situation. As you saw behind him, it's a developing scene. We'll be sure to bring you the latest over the air and NBCNewYork.com. Now, a second person has died after a quadruple shooting outside of Popeye's restaurant in the Bronx. You're looking at video from the Citizen app. On Friday, shots rang out on East Tremont and Hughes Avenue. Police say Devron Smith was taken to a hospital but didn't make it. Another man died at the scene. Two other victims are expected to recover. Now, right now, two suspects are in custody, facing multiple charges, including murder. Happening today, New Jersey lawmakers are taking up a proposed casino smoking ban. Members of a Senate, state Senate Health and Human Resources Committee will meet in Trenton to discuss the bill, but no vote is expected. It's the first action in nearly three years on the measure that would close a loophole in the state's indoor smoking law that exempts casinos. Right now, smoking is allowed on up to 25% of the casino floor. And Flacco the Owl is still on the loose in Central Park this afternoon, but the Central Park Zoo says he is hunting, finally eating, and comfortable in the wild. Flacco the Eurasian Eagle Owl escaped from the zoo more than a week ago when someone cut a hole in the owl exhibit's stainless steel mesh. The zoo says it is monitoring Flacco 24-7, but his adjustment to the wild means officials are rethinking exactly how to get him back. The city of Yonkers is hoping you will open your home to a new pet. Starting today, 20 cats rescued from a hoarding situation are up for adoption. They'll have all their shots and are spayed or neutered. This is urgent now because more than 200 cats were found in the home. More than 100 have been rescued, and as soon as the shelter adopts one round out, they can bring more cats in. Anyone interested should visit the Yonkers Animal Shelter, which opened today at 11 this morning. From meow to me, wow, look at this, another warm day at hand with temperatures climbing. Did you like that? Into the mid-50s. We're at 50 degrees right now outside. Winds out of the west-northwest at about 7 miles per hour. Dew points at 17. The air is dry. Wind gusts are going to pick up as we head into the evening, taking us all the way to tomorrow morning. Looking ahead to Valentine's Day, looks very nice. A beautiful day, a lovely evening, warm on the thermometer and in our hearts. Near record temperatures several times this week, but at least on Wednesday in a couple of locations, we're going to be certainly well above where we normally would be and in some cases close to that record-breaking territory. There's that 10-day forecast. Look at those 60s prevalent this week and next week the upper 50s. So plenty of warm weather, no sign of snow, and several chances for some rain showers in the forecast. Kate, we'll send it back to you. All right, Dave, thanks for that. And that's it for now. I'm Kate Ingram.